Hey everybody, Will here, and today we are going to be looking at how to power wash a managed Chromebook. So just to prove that this is a device that cannot be power washed, let's go ahead and enter into settings. Uh, power washing, if you're not familiar, is it basically a factory reset. Uh, so we'll go power wash. And you can see power wash is not available on this Chromebook. Uh, but basically power wash is a way to reset a Chromebook and it, it should be considered a last ditch effort when you're trying to repair your Chromebook. Um, especially if you have a feeling that maybe the issue is being caused by the OS or an extension. So let's go ahead and get this uh, power wash. So what we're going to do is hold the power button until it completely turns off. Once you have your black screen, go ahead and hit your escape, refresh, and power. There we go. So when you're into this screen, which says, please insert a recovery USB stick or SD card, go ahead and, ahead and hit control D. This is going to allow us to turn on our developer mode, which is going to be needed to access power washing on a managed device. Now you're going to have this message that says, turn OS verification off. To do that, hit enter, and your Chromebook is going to restart or at least power down for a brief second, and we're now on this screen. Now that we're here on the OS verification is off, hit that control D, and this is going to enter you into developer mode. Now you get this warning screen here for 30 seconds that's letting you know that all local data is going to be cleared, which is essentially a power wash itself, and uh, any modifications you make might not be supported, and uh, you're violating your warranty, basically. So we leave this on, and wait the 30 seconds. Now that it has gone through the 30 seconds, we have a timer right up here for four minutes and 50 seconds, and it's going to prepare the system for developer mode. And now it's about to finish up here, going into developer mode. Countdown timer reached zero, turns off, and now we see it's come back to this screen. Hit Control D one more time. And now the Chromebook is going to boot up like it was just power washed, like it's a brand new device. However, you will be in developer mode and have access to developer settings. Go ahead and go through this. I'm going to sign back in with the same IT help account that I was using when I checked to try and power wash initially. And now that I've signed in, it's going to go ahead and load in as if it was normal. Now again, what we just did was essentially a power wash by turning off the OS for verification. We removed all of the local settings, so any issues that you were having may have completed at that point. However, if you would like to verify by following that power wash instruction, which is given on a lot of the Google troubleshooting support web pages that you can find, all you have to do is go into your settings, search power wash. You can see that we have it now, and then of course, you would click that reset. Let's restart the device for the power wash. Now here we do have the option to re-enable our OS verification. By doing so, it is going to remove us from developer mode. So I'm gonna hit space to re-enable and enter to confirm. And now we're going through the whole reboot process again. That is how you power wash a device that is managed by another network. This is useful if you have purchased a Chromebook on say eBay or Amazon and it came to you as a managed device um, or if you're running into issues with a device that you have. Again, use this as a last ditch effort for sure because um, again, you lose anything saved on your device. Make sure you back all of that up. And for whatever reason, I found this has mixed abilities and working. I don't know why sometimes this works perfectly. Other times it doesn't work at all. So if it works for you, please let me know in the comment section below. And if it doesn't work you for you, Chromebox, the -in well, let Chromebox. me know as well in that uh, so, comment section below. Bar. And hey, thanks for watching.